Hi, I'm Sadie Nardini. Today's sequence will help you take it down a notch, learn to chillax, relax, and restore your body. So I want you to join me here first in an easy seat. Take a block or a large book, and I'd like you to sit up on the block. This is going to pour your low back forward and help you get a nice, easier seat here. Now begin to breathe slowly and deeply through the nose. Place both hands on your belly. A lot of times we gain tension because our belly is really tight. So this breath will help you relax that abdominal tension and gain more access to your breath. Inhale down through the nose, expand the chest, expand that belly, really let it open. Still sit up straight through your spinal muscles, but let the abdominal muscles relax more. On your exhale, just give a light squeeze and lift to that low belly and help press that breath out. So nice and gentle. Inhale down through the nose, expand the chest, expand that belly. Exhale, give a nice gentle squeeze and a lift up and out. Keep that very slow, languid breath going for the duration of the practice. If you ever feel like you're breathing too much for the movement, then pause at the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale. So find that rhythm that works for you. Take a deep breath in through the nose, expand that chest and open the belly. And exhale, give that nice little squeeze and a lift for detox. Now take a deep breath in, exhale it out. How about some breath of freedom here? It feels so nice. Let's inhale, reach the arms back, and exhale, hug it in, drop that chin, relax the back body. Inhale, open the chest here. Exhale and curl. Good, slow the breath down as much as you can. So we're not working out the body right now. We're actually trying to gain access to more energy by releasing tension and letting the system calm down and balance. So feel free to breathe a little bit lighter and really open it up. Good, exhale and curl. Now inhale, stretch the arms all the way up and on your exhale, we're gonna stretch that right arm all the way out. With that left hand, we're gonna just spin over. Good, inhale, lift up, and exhale, side bend there. So you stretch that opposite neck and shoulder. Deep breath here, and exhale it out. Yum, now switch sides, take the head, and the opposite arm reaches out as you stretch away from that long arm. Deep breath here, and exhale. Good, inhale one more time. So we're not forcing anything, very gently allowing your body to release tension. Come back to center. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Place one elbow on top of the other and wrap those arms. So if you don't make the whole wrap, that's okay. You can just press them together. It's really about inhaling here, lifting those elbows and exhale round the back there. So we're gonna relax some of that shoulder and neck tension. If you can wrap the hands, that's great. Exhale it down. Now inhale, open. Exhale, round in and hold. Breathe with your inhale, those shoulder blades apart back there. And on the exhale, let that head release even more fully. Inhale through the back body and exhale, release. Good, stretch those arms out and up and switch sides, other elbow on top. So wrap it if you can. Inhale here. Exhale, curl it in. Deep breath, exhale. Now hold this position. Lift through the back of the chest and slide those shoulder blades apart. Use your inhale to breathe more tension away from the inside out. One deep breath here, exhale, and relax the head. And one last time, inhale here, and exhale, really let it go. Slowly unwind yourself. Oh, that feels so nice. Let's add one more position. Reach behind you, interlace the fingers behind you, or you can grab onto the clothes or just hands to the hips here. Inhale, stretch and open the chest. If you have the clasp, move those hands away as you slowly fold forward and just release toward the earth, stretching the shoulders from the inside too. Take a deep breath here and exhale, release it. Good, roll yourself back up, release those arms to the sky, stretch. 
On your exhale, remove the block for now. We're gonna need it again though, so just place it over to one side. And we'll come here on two hands and knees. Take a deep breath, arch through the spine. Exhale, curl it in. Keep doing this. Now, it takes a lot of your energy to keep a muscle tight 24 seven. And we have a lot of those tense muscles all over the body. So we're just seeking them out, finding them and relaxing them. That's new energy back into the system for you to use towards your dreams. Exhale, curl in. Now take a deep breath here and on the exhale, round up through the back. Let's stretch a little bit, nice and gentle. Slowly point the back foot and place the shin down. Let's come up onto that front thigh. Take a nice cat-cow action here. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, roll it in. Inhale and exhale. Now sweep those arms up to the sky. If you move your back shin back a little bit over to the side, you're gonna be in a nice warrior one stance, pelvis diagonal, and you spin forward a little light core action there. On the exhale, press those palms out, open the pelvis more and sweep that shin straight back behind you for a nice warrior two, taken down a notch today. Take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, front forearm is coming to the front thigh. Or if you can, take a hold of the shin or the ankle. Begin to stretch that leg a little bit straighter now. Lift the belly and open to a triangle position on the hands and knees here. Good, so hands are down. We're gonna sweep that top arm back, forward and up over the ear for a nice side back opening side bend now. So really stretch. Back knee grounds down, stretch away from it, nice moon shape. Good, exhale, bend the front knee, plant both hands inside that foot. Sweep that shin straight back behind you again. Lunge position, and let's moonwalk it over here so we can really stretch that front arm out and breathe from that opening front knee, feel free to roll it right across that rib cage. Three deep inhales and exhales here. Good, deep breath in and exhale, slowly back to center. Now return to your hands and knees. Inhale here, notice the difference between your sides, the side that just did that pose and the other side. We're gonna even it out. Good, inhale here, arch the spine. Exhale, curl in, step the opposite foot forward. Now slowly roll up into your high lunge. Good, inhale here. Exhale, knee is down. So deep breath, arch the spine. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale. So you can get the same benefits as your warrior positions down here with the knee down and you can just sometimes restore and chill out your practice. It's really good to do this once in a while. Inhale here and exhale. Now stretch the arms up. Spin that shin slightly back behind you, little warrior one. Very light tone to the core here. Open it up, warrior two. Shin can come all the way back. Good. Now if this hurts your knees for any reason, you can always put a blanket down here and place the shin and knee on top of that. Feels really great. Deep inhale, lengthen up. Front forearm on the front thigh, or you can take the shin or the ankle, and we'll just sweep that back arm around it up towards a triangle stretch. So I want you to plant that back knee down all the way and moon shape the spine overhead. Good, inhale, reach, exhale it out. Beautiful, bend that front knee, both hands inside the front foot. Spin the back shin straight behind you. Open the toes and knee if you need to and moonwalk that pose away from that front foot. And the same arm is gonna reach out. So you'll have a floor here, plant the fingertips on the floor and breathe open that beautiful side waist and ribs. Deep breath in, good, exhale it out. Now come back to center everybody. I'd like you to take this block and we'll end here in a beautiful restorative position. So roll down onto the back. Lift up your hips and place the block the long way across your hips here. So you have three options, feet wide, knees knock in, opens the low back. Knees up over the hips, releases the sacrum and the core here. Or a full body restorative inversion all the way up. 
So choose the position that you'd like to be in. And I want you to hold that pose or try all three for one to two minutes here. And when you're done, hug the knees in, release it out into a starfish shavasana and just enjoy the moment of relaxation you can always give yourself. Thank you so much for joining me here. Enjoy. Namaste.